Hey everyone, it's Joe, it's Ace and Irfan here from The Automator, and today we were just updating one of our scripts, and I realized it's one of those things, like when we have a function that I use in a lot of different scripts, it's very clear to me, like oh, I'll put that on my library and call it, that way I have one thing to update. But what if the thing you're using isn't a function? And for that, right. I was like, you know, let's let's walk through and show exactly what you do. You can include any auto hotkey code in your code in your in your scripts, and they don't have to be uh, functions per se for it to work. So let me go ahead and change this real quick. Yeah, there we go. So we have here, oops, nope. I want to keep the comma. This is a, a regular expression where we look at our subtitles and often there's words that are incorrect. So we try to clean them up a bit before we update them. And a lot of our auto hockey hero calls, right? We go and, and extract them and put them on places for people, the hero members, so they can jump through videos. Right. And many times you find things like dot AHK when we really mean this. No, so, I think 181 is a better one, the drug lines. like that. 181, is, yeah, drug lines. What yeah, the hell is that? Well, <laughs> that was a good yeah, one. I say drug yeah. lines and they interpret it drug lines. I'm like, that's... Right, that, that, that's a good one. <laughs> but what we're going to do is, yeah, we have a function called clean TXT, right? And what we are used to doing is just grabbing this function, cutting it out of there, and putting it in a new file, right? And um, this file, then we save it, and then we go ahead and use an include at the top of our script saying, include our clean .ashk, for example, right? That, that That's something that we have done before or clean with the brackets if you put it in your lib folder, that's okay. Uh, so that means I have to save the function in my lib folder or in my main lib folder so I can use it anywhere I want, fine. But as you mentioned, hey, what happens if what I'm copying is not the function? I don't want the whole thing. I just want this variable right here because maybe I use it in the clean function, but maybe I use it inside other functions that do other things and I still need this list. Well, funny thing, you can cut the variable by itself. You can put it by itself like this, but now that is outside of a function, I don't need the static reference there. So this is just a, 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 an assignment, a variable assignment in which I just have a map of keys into a variable. Funny thing is, even if it is just an assignment, it's any auto hotkey code, you can save it. And let's say that this is our clean words, or let's make it YouTube words.hk. I can have this, and you see that I created a new file. I could put this in my lib folder, right? Now, interestingly enough, usually what we do is that we put the include probably at the top of our script or at the end of the script. That's what people do. But the include doesn't work that way. The includes, you can put them wherever you want. And you're basically saying, copy paste that into this location. That's what you're doing. So right now, I could use my brackets because it's in my leap folder. And that's it. You can, you can definitely do that. Now, let me see why this is going... Um, Including functions and classes cannot correctly deduce scope and code completion. That's okay. That has to do with um, the lexer. So the lexer cannot really tell whether that variable belongs inside a function or not. So I don't really care. What is happening right now is that the actual code is being copy pasted in this location. And cool enough is that you can do it multiple times. So if you need that variable in this function, you can do the same. You can just go ahead and include it here. You see what I mean? So it is really cool that- so Years ago, I did yeah. a video with Maestri with about a in-place include is what I think he called it. And it's almost like a go-to, is that right? Where you basically say, you know, go to this and and that variable that you, I forget in the other one, did you create a variable? Did you, what? 
in the in the code? in the code, yeah, I have a, a, a variable here. Um, I wouldn't compare it too much to a go to, rather a copy paste, because this is done before the script is actually even launched. So when you press run, your script now is modified, and that piece of code is pasted there. And if you look at the final script, whatever is in memory, you will find that variable here defined and here as well. So it's kind of like copy pasted there. But if you want to think about it as a go-to, kind of, is is this the sense of whenever I refer to the clean thing, it goes to that file, pastes it there, but it will not do it the second time you call clean. It just does it once, right? So before the script is even executed, this part is done already. So just <clears throat> out of curiosity, if we did something, we were running this, and it was an ongoing thing because we have 1,500 videos we're downloading right now for the subtitles, and mm -hmm. we were running this through it, and then we went and made a change in the clean U2 words file. Here. From what I think mm -hmm. you just said, it wouldn't actually absorb that change. Not while it's running. Right. That's right. interesting. No, no, okay. no. So, no, so not right. while it's so running. Then, so then I get your point of how it's not. Uh, uh, it doesn't. A go-to. No, it's not really a go-to. It's basically a copy-paste before oh. the script is run. And once it's pasted, you have a copy of that. Got if it. you make any changes, yeah. right, if you make any changes, you have to now reload your script, and now the new changes are going to be applied. So okay. that's why I think about it as a copy-paste. Yeah. And yeah. basically, the, 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 the include command is literally grabbing this and replacing this line with whatever the code is. That's what it's doing, literally. When you go ahead and take a look at the script in memory, you will see this. You will not see the include. You will see exactly this, exactly like this. And you would have the other one right here. So you have two copies of it like that. That's what you will see whenever you use the include that way. So it is a very cool thing that you could have not only functions included, but also any type of code which is basically what I do in many of my scripts. What I do in many of my scripts is like, let me show you this one. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna save that for now. I have in my libraries, one file called headers that the only thing it does is that it has a lot of variable definitions. You see this? So there's a lot of variable definitions here. There's no code. And that means when you run this script, all those variables are available to you. But that's the cool thing. You, it doesn't have to be a function. It, it could be any piece of auto hotkey code that is valid auto hotkey. And that is copy pasted into the file where you include that. So right now I'm just including that, that means that it copies that. And um, in this one here, I'm already copying the, the, the include of my headers. So this include here is just assigning all those variables so that later on, when I'm working in my code, I could definitely refer to a variable like this, even though I didn't define it right here, <laughs> right? So. It is just, I already did the definition somewhere else. That's what is happening. So it is good to know that instead of having a variable definition, you could just include, and then you put here clean YouTube words, and that is just pasting that in there. And it's really cool. All right, very cool. Thanks for the little walkthrough. Um, I don't remember. Do we cover the include stuff? I think that's in the intermediate course. Is that right? Yes, we do we'll talk a little bit about it. Um, uh, we didn't make this type of examples. No. We should. Right. We, we probably should add it. But it is something that um, 
many people think about the include as a thing just just for functions, but it's not really just for functions. It could be any auto hotkey code that is valid. Yeah. And then right. think about it just for code that is reusable, that you need that code in several places and you don't want to be writing the same thing over and over again, then you just use an include and the include is going to take care of that for you. All right, so I was uh, I went and showered, got my hair washed up, and <laughs> I was thinking about in Python there was a way to include um, again, like if you had did something before, like you used to include, but you wanted to re-include it. I know in Python, when I came back and asked Isaiah, does, does Auto Hockey have something like that? And it does. This include again thing, but what we learned also was something we should have mentioned earlier in this video. It's a really interesting point yes. to make sure you're aware of when you're including like variables, not functions. Right. So. What happens with the include directive, and this part I knew, the only thing is that I didn't know how to express it. It's just that I, I didn't know an example. Now I figured out a way to show it, is when you include right here, the copies, the, the, pay, the code is actually copy pasted there, but at the same time, any other line that has the same include is not actually done. That means that this line is, included only once. So let's take a look at it. I have the include inside the calculate size of timelines and also in the clean function. When I go ahead and convert this or compile it, let me just compile that, it says okay. I can now grab the executable, put it in a text editor, and I could see the script at the bottom of the executable, you can see the script. So if we go down to that function, you will notice that, um, let's go down, down, down. Let's just go completely down here. Right, here is my calculate size of timelines function. And this is the part that was included. So I should see the same thing. I want to see the same thing on the next function, but that's not what happens. When I go to the next function, the clean function, that was not included. So it was not pasted again because the include directive only does it once. Now, if you want it two times, you can have the include in here, but then on the next one, you have to use the include again, which does what we are referring to, which is that if I go ahead and compile this, let me just close it, compile it. Now, when I go ahead and put it in, oh, sorry, this one, I open it in the editor. Now, in the calculate size of timelines function, I do have my values. And when I go down to clean, I have it again. So, and this, as Joe mentioned, it's not really ne necessary when you have a function. You don't want to include the function twice, right? But in this context, in which I have a variable that I want inside certain functions, then they include again is the way to make sure that in any function that you need that, you have a copy of it. If you don't use include again, that doesn't happen. Yeah, that, that's a, that would have been taking me a while to figure out that, boy, that's... <laughs> even even yeah. when, when you were like, how am I going to see, you know, inside this? <laughs> um, and yeah, by compiling it, you can go take a look at it. Of what right, that, that was what I was thinking, like, how can I show that? But, but, but now, yeah, when and this is one of the things that people, if you don't want your code to be out there, even if you compile it, there are ways for people to actually look at the code um, because the, the code is plain text inside the executable. So that's why. Yeah, unless you compress it or... <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like the video if you learned something there. It really helps us out. We release videos three times a week right now. And I uh, hope you so are a subscriber. If not, um, subscribe so you make sure you get these great videos. Cheers. Bye.